guys, my name is David with Media Unlocked and today I'm coming at you with a new updated tutorial on how to install your Magic Lantern on your Canon uh, EOS T2i or 550D. I'm also going to go over at the end of how to install it. Uh, stick around because all you people out there that want to learn how to update that have already had it installed, I'm going to go through another process showing you guys how to update um, your software so you don't have to go through and do the big install again, you just have to update your uh, new Magic Lantern uh, hack, whatever firmware has been put out. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. But <clears throat> before we jump into that, um, I guess I kind of wanted to talk. I haven't uh, made a video in a while. I'm sorry about that. The biggest reason is is that um, I actually roomed. I have This is a pretty nice little place I live in. And I actually roomed with my dad. And he just bought a house. So I've been in the process of moving because um, well, I'm staying here at this place, it's really nice. It gives me a, uh, I have three bedrooms, so I have an office, a studio like this right here. And then I got my own bedroom, so it's really nice. Um, so I've just been in the process of moving and I haven't really been, been uh, around to shoot any videos. So I'm sorry about that. Um, on another note, I know there's a lot of people that have been sending me messages, asking questions, and I, I believe there's quite a few of you that I haven't had a chance to answer stuff to. Um, if it's been a couple days and I have not answered, your uh, your comment or question or something, send me a message. I always get messages. Sometimes YouTube screws up when you guys send me a comment. I don't actually get it. Um, so it just, it gets, you know, you leave your comment and then YouTube never like informs me that you left a comment. So sometimes I have to go through my videos and look for new comments, but I don't always have the time. Um, I tend to try to do, try to answer all comments before I go to bed. So usually I can answer your comments within a 24 hour time frame of you asking the question. So uh, if you haven't got, got an answer from me within 48 hours, shoot me a message and uh, I always get messages on YouTube and then I can go through and, and try to help you out on, um, on whatever problems you're having. So uh, as well, check us out um, on Skype, um, David D. Images. Um, a lot of people <coughs> have added me on Skype so um, I can answer your questions that way. I've been trying to stay on Skype on my phone even though I'm at work. Um, if I get some downtime then I can answer some questions at work. Um, as well, uh, Twitter is a big thing. I don't post a lot on Twitter, but when I do, it has usually pretty good information as far as when I got new videos coming out or what's going on in my life, you know, as far as why you haven't seen anything for the last like two weeks from me. So, um, so anyways, uh, Twitter, mine is, my name is David D. Images on Twitter as well, so hit me up there. But uh, let's jump right into how to install the Magic Lantern uh, firmware on a Canon T2i or 550D. And then uh, after that's done, after I show you guys how to install it, I'm going to go through and show you how to update it if you already have it installed. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pop your card in your camera. You're gonna turn your camera on. As you can see, my camera is on. Um, you're gonna go to menu. You're gonna scroll down to Format, click this, make sure you do a low level format. You just hit the delete button and that will check the low level format. Click OK. All right, now that's done, we're gonna pop over to the computer. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is you have to install Canon's uh, T2i 550D firmware update. You need to have uh, 1.0.9 for the Magic Lantern to work. So, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of this page, and this page will be called Link 1. So, this will be the very first link you're going to click on um, down below in my comments section. You're going to click Agree. You're going to click Firmware Update Version. Um, since this is a Mac, uh, since this is a Mac computer that I'm using, I'm going to go on and click the Mac OS. So, I'm going to download that. As soon as it's done, it shouldn't take more than a couple seconds. I'm going to go Show in Finder. So I'm going to click this right here, click Show in Finder. Then there it is. So I'm going to double click it. All right, there it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this into. Um, if you see my ESO Digitals right here, I have my card plugged into my computer, so I'm going to drop it in there. I'm going to correctly take my card out, and now I'm going to go update my camera. So now I'm going to put the card in. So 
And just to let you know, if you have a class eight or 10 um, SD card, that's gonna work. Class sixes and fours generally do not work with the Magic Lantern firmware, just to let you know. So people out there that have a class six or four um, and you're having problems with recording where it says like, you get the uh, automatic uh, record error when you try to record, you only get a couple seconds, that's because your card's probably not fast enough. All right, so we're gonna hit menu. And to actually do the, uh, to do the update, you gotta be in, in photo mode. So I'm just gonna put mine all the way up in manual. Um, so we're gonna scroll all the way down to the third wrench, as you can see right there. I'm gonna click on firmware. I'm gonna go on and update it. Now I already have this on my camera, so I'm just gonna re-update it. Now it's, uh, it's loading right now. Make sure you have a full battery as well. Uh, it, it does take up a lot of power, so uh, this is it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click, and we're gonna click OK. Now it's going to update. All right, it's done updating. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now I'm gonna do another low level format and we're gonna throw on the Magic Lantern software. So um, format, low level, as you can see, it says low level right there. You just gotta hit the delete button down here to check that, okay? And then now we're gonna pop that over the computer and we're gonna get the uh, firmware update for Magic Lantern. Now the next thing you're gonna need to do, which is step two, is uh, download the Magic Lantern firmware. Um, so um, it's going to be link number two down in my comment section. So just click on link number two. It will take you to this website. You're going to scroll down almost all the way to the bottom. And you're going to scroll down to where it says installing updated Magic Lantern builds. Now, my favorite build was the 13th of March. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install this build and then update it if you wanted to get one of these newer builds. Now, when people do the updates, as you can see, they're right here. So the last update was the 31st of March, which is about uh, almost two weeks ago. But my favorite one was almost a month ago, which is the 13th of March. So I'm going to go on and click on that. And it's going to give you the option. You can just click Skip Add, or it just jumps right to it. Um, I'm going to go on and download it. And you can read what people have said about it and stuff like that, see if it's what you're looking for build-wise. Um, it's downloaded, so now we're going to go to click on Show Finder. And there it is. Double click on it. We're going to open it up. Now, all we're going to do is put the .fir, which all of these have, because if you don't have Magic Lantern on your camera, you're going to need to install it before you can actually install all the nice perks of Magic Lantern. So we're going to go ahead and click the .fir. We're going to bring it over to ESO Digital. All right, now we're going to safely remove it, and we're going to jump back over the computer or the um, camera. Okay, so put your card in your camera. Turn her on. Let me just turn her on and off here. Hit menu. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna scroll all the way down to firmware. We're gonna click OK. So you're gonna go look for the firmware on the SD card. It's gonna find it. It's gonna install it. Alright, so now that it's installed, it's pretty fast. Um, I think you can double check to make sure it's installed right here. As you can see, firmware version 1.1.0.9, Magic Lantern. All right, so that's installed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to the computer and we're going to throw some files on there. Okay, so we just put the card back in the computer. And the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to have to mount the card so that therefore we can add in all the nice perks of the Magic Lantern firmware. So to do so, um, you're going to go up to your little magnifying glass up here, finder glass, and you're going to click in terminal, T-E-R, and it's going to pull up terminal, so you're going to click on terminal. Now you've got to figure out where your card's at, and so this is why you need to pull up terminal. So I'm going to go in and type in D-I-S-K-U-T-I-L space L-I-S-T. Now this will be up on the screen so you can actually see it if you didn't catch what I just said. I'm going to click enter. Now it's going to give me information about my computer here. Now I need to go find the memory card. 
So I'm going to go through this list. It's not this. It's not this. Um, it's definitely not this. Uh, here we go. Windows FAT32 ESO Digital. So this is going to be it right here. It is going to be disk. And everybody's probably going to have it a little bit different. Most people are going to have disk 2S1. Um, so I'm going to go on and command see it. Or you can just go up here to edit and then click copy. So now that this is copied, I'm going to open up the makebootable.sh file. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to open it up. Now you're going to go up to where it says change this. And you're going to change just this little part right here. You're going to click paste. So now that's in there. So now what you want to do is you want to copy all of this. So let's go on and copy this whole thing. Command C or again edit copy. Now we're going to click back over onto terminal. Now we're going to click on shell new window so there's your new window and now you're going to command V it but for all you guys out there that don't know where your command button is on your keyboard we're just going to go on and click paste so it's going to run it's going to run a little thing if you noticed um, if you actually scroll back a little bit in the video you notice that my card actually uh, disconnected because that's what it does when it mounts it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the card out of the SD card reader I'm going to put it back in the SD card reader it's going to pop back up here in a second. There you go. Now it is been it has been mounted. So you're going to be you're going to go back into your Magic Lantern folder. You're going to click the down arrows. So you're going to go on and drop all these BMP files in. So we'll go on and drop those in. And you're going to drop in the auto exe.bin file. Now this is all you should need, all you will need. Um, so now we've installed Magic Lantern onto the SD card. So let's run back over the camera and make sure it works. All right, so we're back um, over at the camera. We've put our SD card in. We're gonna go on and flip the camera on. We're gonna put it in video mode. Just scroll it all the way down. Now it's gonna take a second to boot. Um, the, new, this, the newer ones take a little bit longer to boot. And there you go. Now you have Magic Lantern firmware on your, on your camera. Now to access it, you're just gonna click the delete button. And then you have all your settings and you can go through. There's a lot of new settings in this in this update. And the coolest thing about it is, is okay, let's just say I want to keep this at 2000 ISO, okay? So now I'm going to hit the delete button. Now I'm going to turn off my camera. Now I'm going to turn my camera back on. I'm going to hit the delete button once more. It takes a second to boot up. Hit delete the button once more. So it's going to pop up the settings. Go to exposures. Look at that. Still ISO 200. I did not click save configuration. That is not an option anymore, actually, on these new ones. Um, so the newer Magic Lantern firmware is just amazing compared to the older one. Um, so I definitely suggest that you update to this. So now what I'm going to show you guys how to do is um, there are some newer builds out. So I'm going to show you how to update those builds. So I have my SD card. I put it back in the SD slot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to update to the newest build. So we're going to click back. And let's just put this. This is the newest build right here. So let's go on and get this. Um, it's going to pop over here. We're going to click download. This is downloading right now. We're going to click this, show and finder. There's the newest build. Double click on it. It's opened up. Scroll down. So, uh, we're just going to overlay the dot, dot, and I don't even believe you even have to do this, but I'm going to go on and do this. I'm going to drop that in there, and it's going to give you this little thing, yada, yada, yada. We're going to replace it. And then we're going to drop in the crop marks. And drop in ESO Digital. We're going to replace all those. Okay, now you have updated your Magic Lantern build. But, just to show you, we're going to click properly exit out of the uh, SD card and we're gonna run over to the camera and I'm gonna show it to you alright so I put in the newest build of Magic Lantern I'm gonna click on it's gonna take a second and there it is and now you have the newest build 
installed. Um, as you can see, you can click auto save on or off. So like that, that wasn't on the old build. Um, so if you want to, if you put a configuration in, like auto saves on, so it's automatically going to save it before you turn off your camera, but say you don't want to do that, then you don't have to. Um, there is probably all kinds of new stuff I don't even know about on this new build. Um, these new builds that are coming out are just getting more and more advanced and I can't even keep up with all the uh, extra stuff they have on them, but they're, it's just amazing. Um, so I'm going to have to go through this build and check it out, see if it's any good. Um, if you guys would like, I'll do a review on it. Just let me know, leave a comment down below, and uh, and I'll do a review. And another thing, if there's something that you guys want me to, to review, um, preferably send me a message instead of a comment. So uh, I know one person wanted me to go over how to do my Cowboy Studio, how to put the softbox together. Um, and I'm going to try to get that done here this week or the beginning of next week, and I hopefully it doesn't, it, um, that's not too late for you. I just don't have time right now. So, um, so anyways, if you guys have a question about something or you want me to actually do a review on something, um, just send me a message. Message is the best way to make sure that I get, I get your comment or message. Send me a message. I'm going to get it on YouTube unless YouTube's not, you know, not sending me my messages that you guys are sending me. I hope they aren't screwing around. They have done that to people. Um, so send me a message. And I will reply, and we will try to uh, try to get you know whatever you want to see because this is all about you guys. What do you guys want to learn? I'm just teaching you what I think you want to learn. But if there's something out there that you guys want to know or learn, that's what this channel is for—is to help you out. That's all I started this channel is just to help photographers and videographers to uh, to take it to the next level. And uh, I watch other people on YouTube that helps me take it to the next level. Uh, Jared Poland, I'm a big fan of his. I'm also a big fan of uh, Don Bauer um, and uh, and then Gavin, I can't remember Gavin's, Gavin Dewey or something like that. Those are my like three favorite photographers on YouTube and I, I pretty much watch everything they put out and I've learned a lot from them. They're very experienced so uh, I'll put all three of their links down below underneath all the links to, uh, to the Magic Lantern hack. So if you guys want to check out other photographers that are really good, uh, another one I really like is Chase Jarvis. Um, he doesn't do as much on YouTube. He's more uh, he's more commercial photographer, and he does a lot of work around the world. So he puts up stuff on YouTube from time to time. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time.